Okay guys, so due to the last video and because I don't know how to actually edit any of these, I realized that you can't actually see what I'm drawing. And because of that, I feel like I should probably redo the drawing so that you can see them. So right now, let's start with uh, that spinneret. Um, I started showing you, you had the retaining screws right here. You had the uh, cone shape right here. You had the outside wall, which uh, housed the screws. And of course, the screws are covered, so they're not abrasive. Um, from this point, the fluid travels up through the copper tube. Um, they come up through the sides as well. And out of the front, they make that. And due to the ring that's inside right here, it'll start to wrap around. Now back to that other point I was making about restricting lines. Let's go, let's pretend that's a spinneret. And it will fire out webs. Or strands, not really webs. It's, uh, that's misnomer. And as it spins, if you only do it at a very slow speed, it'll take a while for it to travel around the web circularly. However, if you make it a very fast, rapid movement, if the strands will travel out like this, but because they're being wrapped so quickly, they don't have time to escape. Maybe one will, depending on how close you uh, space that, but they won't be able to travel out. And these will be flying at heavy angles. That's what I meant by that in the forms. It's that they'll be trying to escape, but the only restrictive factor is the outside webbing. Now, I never uh, got the chance to look at the circuit one to see if that was well explained, but um, Let's try that again. Battery, wire, resistor, wire, um, switch, and all the way back to the battery. Uh, to make the webbing one, you or er, to make the solenoid double switch, you just battery, wire, resistor, wire, switch. Sorry, that was that's a closed switch. That's an open switch. Then um, another one. Then this. Connect it back to the wire. Connect it back to the battery. And that's how you make the uh, double palm trigger thing. Now you could actually make it, now that I think about it, just one bar that closes this that requires both, uh, both ends to be down. So your two fingers would go here and here. But I don't know. It just depends on what you want. So that's a more in-depth look at that. There you go.